everybody welcome to a new video on my channel thank you so much for watching it so today i am actually quite excited because i'm filming another haul which i haven't done in such a long time but also which is not really the haul i wanted to do i know that i said in my last video that i was planning on doing another ASOS haul. I haven't done one in ages, I checked actually. I think the last order I placed on ASOS was 2017. So that's a long time ago. I do not remember the month, but it's definitely at least two years ago. So I really do want to do that very, very soon. But to be honest, I have been so overwhelmed by the sheer like amounts of peace you can get. And I just, I could not continue to shop anything because I would have had to order so much. After like half an hour, I had like 50 items or the maximum amount of items, I don't know, 30, I have no idea, in my uh, basket and I knew I could not A, spend that amount of money and B, um, I just couldn't wrap my head around it. So I decided to push that a little bit further and I hope that I can do uh, an ASUS haul, I hope the next time I'm planning on a haul for this channel. So I hope that's okay, that it's not uh, an ASUS haul. In place of that, I do have kind of a little bit of a collective haul because I did get a few things, just not many, many items from one place, but I think um, it's enough for one video. So I decided to just throw a few bits in this video and I hope that it's okay. So yes, let's get started. Where I'm going to start, I don't even know. Also, I'm missing a bag. I found it. <laughs> okay, so I have mm, pretty much four different orders I wanted to throw in this video. Also, I'm still kind of um, seeing where I'm going with the background. I hope that it's okay with that. I'm just kind of playing a little bit with it. Yes, yeah, so let's get started. I'm just going to start with the first thing Lara beside me, which is this parcel here. Um, uh, where do I start with that? Um, I'm going to show you the box so you already know what is probably inside. I wanted to get these. It's probably better to say that my boyfriend said, you know what, Adidas is going to do a collaboration with Pokemon. So um, yeah. I'm a little bit obsessed with the whole Pokemon thing since, since the first time it came out pretty much. Um, so I think it was 10 years old or something like that. Um, so also I'm the cliche kind of uh, Pokemon fan and uh, I, I go say one of my favorite ones is Pikachu. So that's pretty much the main reason why I got this. This is one of the pairs which came out with in the collaboration and I got these ones. It's just the cutest little thing, the Pikachu on here. And I love the inside design with all, well, many, many, many different um, Pokemon here. And you have what I really love, it's just all the details. I, a Pokeball inside and then on here is um, the collaboration thing otherwise it's just a classic white trainer to be honest so from the side also from the other side it's just so subtle and I just loved it so much I got them in uh, five and a half yes which is at the moment I'm not too sure I think they are a little bit too big for me um, normally I'm a five in general but with Adidas shoes I often had that I um, preferred a size bigger because they're quite narrow um, and shoes like that I always wear when I walk a lot and if you walk a lot during the day like long times long ways at a time then your feet just get a little bit bigger that's just what happens and so I prefer them a little bit bigger I do not know if I keep them in size or if I'm going to order them a little bit smaller. Also, I have to say that you cannot get these on the Adidas website, at least not at the German Adidas website anymore. I got them through a page called My Toys, which is like a children's um, toys website. These are also children's shoes. Uh, I think they are at least designed for children, for boys actually, it said. Um, but I do have small feet so I got these and I'm very, very excited I just love that they are so subtle that you can be a little bit of a geek but uh, it's not too obvious so I just love these so, so much so I had to get them for I think um, not even 50 euro and I got them for my boyfriend which is very generous and I love them very very much I can't wait for the weather to be a little bit nicer so I can wear them out because white trainers or sneakers with weather like the one we have at the moment is probably not the best idea so the first thing I got these 
shoes. Okay, then going on, what should I show you? Oh, I'll show you this one next. This is my cool and like handbag. I had for the longest time a Ralph Lauren Lauren, Ralph Lauren handbag. A black leather one, very classic, I love it a lot. But I always have the problem that uh, with the handles where you grab it all the time, um, the sealing of the material always gets off. And uh, it's so sad all the time because I think it's just, yes, I used it like over a year every day. And of course then it gets used a lot and it shows that you use it a lot. But I did want another bag which is big enough for me to go to work every day and to fit all my things in. But also which I can switch up a little bit so uh, one of the handbags is not used. Um, up that easily. So I got this one actually on sale on Salando and I'm so happy with it. This is a uh, Karl Lagerfeld Paris um, like huge canvas bag. It's, it's literally so 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 big um, and it's not very like elegant or anything but I um, take it mainly to go to work every day and I fit all my books in and my uh, lunch in and everything I always carry with me which is way too much stuff. But it's just everything fits in. You also have inside it's red, which I really, really loved. And then you have a little like zipper bag in it. And it's a very sturdy, nice, high quality feeling material. I'm very, very happy that I got it. And I got it for like 35 euro. So you really cannot say anything against it. I don't know the regular price. It also was sold out all the time. So the second I saw it, I put it in my basket um, and it immediately ordered it because I wanted to have it so much so that's amazing also the handle is big enough so I can throw it over your shoulder and I love it a lot a lot a lot very happy that I got it it's not even the biggest splurge um, it's just very very nice I didn't really think regular it's definitely under 100 euro so that's very very nice and I'm very happy with that um, also continuing with a few other things I got on Zalando during the kind of sale thing First of all, I have uh, this hat. This is uh, one of those, um, how you call them? No, I forgot it. Um, one of those that everybody wears, and I have to be honest and I say, I'm pretty sure that I cannot pull them off. But I thought maybe um, a version with a fur. I have been majorly um, inspired by um, Megan from Wonderful You. Um, she wears one like these with a leopard print, which is in my ASOS basket, so I really want to get this too. I really wanted to get something similar, I just don't know still if I can actually pull these off. Um, I don't know, you can let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I don't want to pull it down too much, but it's not actually a lot more room. I also tried it like that, which also like kind of, I, I don't know, when you fold it up. I like that either. It's so fluffy and warm. I love it a lot. I'm just still not sure if I can really pull it off. So please, please, please let me know what you think about that. Um, I like it. I love it. It's so fluffy and soft, but can I do it? Can I not do it? I have no idea. So I got this. This is from um, Aldo. No. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah, Aldo, the brand is called Aldo. Um, I think it was like 20 euro. 22.45, got it through Zalando. Was also sold out pretty quickly, so that's also a sale thing. I don't know the regular price, unfortunately. Um, but I got this hat, and I'm actually planning on getting more like it. So that's why I need to know what you think about it on me. And also on Zalando, I got from Misguided for 11.24. I got the set of hoops, which I'm not sure now. I love hoops. I also love wearing them a lot. And this is now a set of three different sizes from pretty much the same uh, hoop. So three different sizes. This is how they look. They're actually very pretty, um, but they're also very good. So I don't know if I can. Uh, will wear them. So they have three different sizes um, compared to my face. Well, quite big ones, very small ones which have quite a nice size. They also, every single one is like a double hoop which was pretty much one of the things I loved most about them. And then you have this like um, structured, two different structures in one hoop. But I just saw it's actually quite nice. So this. This is how they look, all the different sizes. 
So I actually quite like them, but I'm not too sure if I, I'm going to pay like 12 euro for them. Ooh, I didn't know about those so far. And then I actually got, um, actually it was a coincidence that I got them. Um, another pair of sneakers. Now these are actually classic, you will have seen them everywhere. I wanted to get another pair of these for ages. I had them when I was like 10 years ago. I was how old was I? Like 16. Um, I had some of these. These are the very classic Vans old school sneakers. Black and white, very classic. I got these I think in a five and a half either. Yes. So I don't know where I always get my, my sneakers nowadays quite a little bit too big and all I go for to a small size. Again, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them in this size. Um, also, I got them on sale so I don't know if I can get them for the same price a size smaller, which is the main reason why I'm probably going to keep them. So yes, quite classic pair of sneakers. I had Vans all the time, like 10 years ago, like I said. Um, I still have a pair which was brown and like turquoise with flowers, orange and turquoise flowers on the back. Um, and a pair of these, but it's been quite a while and I always thought I want another pair of them, um, but I never wanted to invest in them because really they look like, I don't know, 80 euro and um, it's an investment. So now I thought when they are like 60, they were 60, then uh, I thought, okay, that's at least 20 euro I, I do not pay. And I just love the very classic look of them. They are very like sporty, but I think you can so easily wear them with a dress with a nice skirt, pretty much every occasion even. Um, so I just just love the very classic black and white look um, and how easy they are styled with pretty much everything. So that is why I wanted to get another pair of these. I also had in London like the longest basket list, like so many items in the basket, but um, then um, the shoes were almost sold out and uh, I just decided to get these three. Um, I would love to do like a, a blog post about everything I love at the moment, but I do have to check. I don't know when it comes to copyright and things like that. I'm not too sure if I can just get the pieces from the pictures from the website and put it in a blog post and use them that way when I link everything. Um, if you are really good with things like that, please let me know if I can just go to the website, get all the pictures of the things I love put them in a blog post and link where I got the pictures, if that is allowed or not, particularly in Germany. Let me know if you know something about that. I would love some help. Okay, and that's almost everything, actually. So it's a shorty, but I got one more bag. The bag is from uh, one of the biggest, like, book stores in Germany, which is called Hugendubel. Uh, so there are a few big books in here because I am uh, doing the reading challenge again this year. Uh, but I don't, I don't know if you're interested in such, so let me know about that too. But I just want what I wanted to show you actually in here. So the books um, are for another time, so let me know if you're interested in everything reading and books. Then I can include things like that, but I think it's not interesting, probably. Oh, I don't know. Um, so what I wanted to show you is this thing. We have been in Munich yesterday, a week ago, Saturday, a week ago. And uh, I discovered they have a huge new lush in the main like shopping uh, street in Munich city. And I just had to check it out. And then my boyfriend came to me and said, you know, I have these 20 bucks lying around in my pocket if you want to spend them, which was really, really cute. And so I decided to get a few things. So I only got three things, I think, but I wanted to show you them. So there are no stickers on that. That's not good. And when do they not put stickers on? Which things in which bag? Okay, I'm trying to resemble everything. Uh, also, I don't know anything from this is from a current collection or not, so I'm sorry about that. But I'm going to start with a strawberries and cream bath bomb, which looks like this. It's really, really cute. So this is one of those, like, a double bath bombs, which have, like, a fling inside. I just thought it's so pretty, so cute, just a little strawberry and so I decided to go for this one. It smells actually very, it's very very sweet but it's not heavily sweet. Like a strawberries and cream probably smell. I really really like that. So I got this since I'm almost at the end from everything I got the last few years. And then the next one I have here, let me check. Okay, so this must be peachy. It's 
also uh, a bath bomb, um, which is called Peachy. So this is like a regular huge bath bomb, which looks like this. Lots of glittery down here. Unfortunately, a little bit of it came off. I actually went for the prettiest one, but a little bit of it came off. It has a little glitter, a uh, pink glitter down here, which I really, really love. It's huge, like compared to my face. <laughs> I really love the scent either. It's quite sweet, but it's not um, overwhelming, so you actually have to smell it quite closely to actually smell it. So this is very, very cute. I love it a lot. These two might actually be um, a Korean like spring or Valentine's Day collection. So unfortunately, I don't know at the moment. So I got peachy. It smells really, really nice and fresh, like peachy. <laughs> Then I have another one, like two more, and here I have, oh yeah, this is uh, called Arvo Bar, so this is like an avocado bar bomb, looks like that, nothing too exciting, but I actually never tried this before, I saw it, I think, on Maxey's Insta Stories, and I think she used it, I'm not too sure if it has been her, but I think so. And I thought I really, really want to try it the next time. It smells so good. Very like a lemony. Very fresh. Very, very nice. I can really imagine that this is a very, very nice bath bomb when you have a bath in the morning, like on the weekend, when you just want to start your day right, very calm and relaxed. I think this is really, really nice. I imagine it to be very soothing, but also refreshing. So this is our Vova. And then, last but not least, I have something called Bright Side. Oh, this is one of the classic, one of my favorites. This is a bubble bath, but one you like break off and crumble in your water. And it looks like that. I had this before. I just grabbed it with the bath because it's melting. Look at those gorgeous colors. It's so bright. I love the smell of this. It's so fresh, very citrusy, orangey. But it has this like sweet touch, like like orange juice maybe. I love this so so much. And you just break a bit of it off and crumble it under water, and then it makes the most beautiful bubbles and a very nice watercolor and a gorgeous smell. That's definitely one of my favorites. There's also another one which is looking very similar. I think it's blue and purple or like a lemon and a white, something like that, that direction. And oh, how is it called? the something eater <laughs> and um, I like the too but it's nothing against that um, this is just it's another one when you take a bath to refresh and not to calm down it's so nice I really, really love this and um, yes this is called bright side price wise I can tell you either the bright side is the most expensive one this is $7.95 but you get like depending on how much you use, like four baths out of it, so that's okay. Um, peachy is uh, $6.50, the Arbo bath is $5.75, and so is the strawberries and cream bath bomb. Oh, I love this so much. It's definitely one of my favorites they have all the time. And yes, this has been everything I got recently. The light is now fading, which is by probably the lighting shade, the lighting changes. Now, I hope it's not too bad. I do have a artificial light, but I never get it out. <laughs> because it's one of those huge box lights, and honestly, I'm just most of the time way too uh, lazy to get it out. This is why I prefer to film with natural light. Um, I can try... Oh, that's nice. <laughs> um, like I want to... I, I can try to make it a little bit brighter, but... I'm all done now anyways. So, um, this is everything I got recently. I, like I said, I will try to do like a more exciting haul, hopefully next month or this month, of course, today is actually the 2nd of February already. Um, I hope that you liked this little video, that you liked the few bits I got recently. It's just a little mixture between uh, fashion accessories and lush. <laughs> Otherwise, um, I do not want to spend too much money at the moment because I'm saving up because my car kind of um, the, the leasing kind of at the end of the year or something I have to pay a lot of money for the car so um, I'm going to have to save a little bit for that 
also we need a few bits for the apartment still so uh, that's that i hope very very much that you have a wonderful time that you feel very very well and i wish you all a very happy february and i will see you in my next video which might be already next week i don't know at the moment but it might be a little bit sooner actually so I hope very much that you enjoy your time, that you're all feeling well, that you liked my little collective haul today and I will see you soon again with a little bit more beauty related content and until then have a wonderful time, take care and bye!